mixture of peeling paint. I would throw this away. Sick. I got some tea for you. It's uglier than before. They look like they want to off themselves. No. As plant people get bored of seeing the same plants over and over again, producers are making new cultivars, different variations, new hybrids to make up for that. The problem is many times these are just really ugly. So today I'm going to show you my top ugliest houseplants that I have ever seen. I have saved them on my computer uh, from Instagram. A disclaimer, no, absolutely zero hate to the posters of these images. I'm just using the photos as references and I'm not hating on the poster, on anyone who likes the plant, on anyone who wants the plant, and on anyone who owns the plants, okay? I'm not hating on any of those people. I'm hating on plants as inanimate objects, although they are alive. I have a right to not like them. I'm also relying on free use because these images are public at the time of recording this on Instagram. So I'm giving you all credit and uh, hopefully no legal issues arise. Now let's get into this. My light is not perfect. I'm sorry, that's the best I can do right now. Ooh, there is a lot here. Ooh, I'm gonna be right here so you see the images appearing here. And I'm gonna go through them right now. So we're starting with the first category which is variegated philodendrons. Hear me out, a few of them. A few of them that look just sick. They look virusy. in the first one being variegated philodendron soideroy. This just looks... Ugh. Um, I prefer the original. Non-variegated soideroy is pretty by itself. And this variegation, it doesn't really fit it. Maybe a pure white variegation would help, but th this... How this is kind of it's just weird across the leaf it likes ugh. the second one here is variegated philandria varicosum i see why this one looks so deformed because it's a half moon variegation and it shrinks the leaf but when it's different shrinkages of the size of the leaf it just looks really really weird and i just can't help it but it looks really ugly varicosum by itself Beautiful. We talked about variegated viricosum in the new variegated philodendrons, and that one was really pretty. This one, ugh. I'm not gonna suggest anything with these, but many of these variegated plants that you will see come from Thailand and those nurseries. Not hating on Thailand here, just saying they're kind of coming up with different weird things. This one is just Paraiso Verde Albo. Paraiso Verde is kind of okay, it's decent, but this one is just, mm. I see why you would like it. Don't get me wrong, I see it, I get the vibe. Again, it looks like speckly, viral, ugh. No, just not, not for me. You can get a beautiful monster elbow, don't go for this, it's just weird. You're adding variegation onto variegation, so I don't really get that part. Philodendron Myoi Variegated. I know that this account, she she has a bunch of these very rare plants and I know that she bought this because of the rarity because you ain't buying this for the beauty of it. I'm very sorry. It's either to make money or for collection, but that's not, that's not pretty. Philodendrons Clomiferum Mint Variegated. Can we also talk about just being real on Instagram? I'm not calling this person out right now, but I'm just saying you see the hand hue is just very, very yellow. This happens when you put the tint to green and the temperature to yellow. You're changing the color of the plant, which is not the point of Instagram, I think. When you're sharing rare plants, it's a point to show how they look. So I don't know, that's maybe, maybe just my ick, but it's an ugly plant by itself. So, you know, ugh. We have Philodendron variegated um, hybrid, Myoi X Maximum. The variegated part is decent. It looks, mm. the color is not the most beautiful, but it's fine. That is deformed. The leaf is just deformed. Moving on to the second group, which is just weird variegated scandapsuses. Now, scandapsuses in general, most of the variegated ones are ugly, except the elbow variegated ones, because the variegation gets like sparse throughout the leaf. And I have, I'm not even gonna bother with the species, but they just look unwell. They look bad and the yellow variegation really adds to how ugly that is. We have quite a few species actually that I'm gonna show you. Uh, this one looks a little more special because it's longer. Uh, Scandapsis Nigile, who knows. But again, it's variegated, it's weird. I Collectors would maybe want this. We also have Halimoon variegated. This one is Scandapsis Platinum Tricolor. Scandapsis 
Peace Sun V2. It's kind of ugly, bro. Another skin dabs is Jade Satin Aurea Mint. This is the worst of both worlds. We have the variegated skin dapses and we have mint skin dapses and it both in one. Why would anyone buy this? And I'm not even looking at the prices because these are just posts. People are selling these and I can tell you these are not a few bucks. This one I have never seen before. Skin dapses, white monster. How do we feel about these? Please comment down below how you like these plants. Which ones are you on the fence of? Which one you like? Which one you don't like? And if you're on the fence about subscribing to this channel, don't be because it's gonna help me a lot. I am working the best I can to grow this and give you the best content I possibly can. So if you wanna help me, click that subscribe button down below and you will make my day a little better. So thank you so much. Now let's talk about the popular mint variegation. I hate it when some sellers will put mint variegated and then whatever to a plant that just looks health bad and it hates its life. It hates you, it hates its soil, it hates air, it hates everything. They look like they want to off themselves. Um, let's say the first one being mm, Phil Dungeon Mikan's Mint. Ugh. It's deformed, it's yellow, it's barely got leaves. Come on, you can do better. Can we not do that? I forgot to record this one, but another mint plant that is absolutely horrible is the mint monstera adansonii. It looks so sick uh, because the mint makes it look like it's maybe not having enough sunlight. Maybe the leaves are kind of going. It's a weird kind of white and also I don't think those are cheap. What is this? Oh, okay. Let's get into the ugly allocations. Yeah, so the first one being variegated Aslani eyes. <laughs> Aslani eyes by themselves are really, really beautiful. Some variegated ones can be okay. This one looks crispy. And maybe it's after shipping or whatever. This one looks crispy. No. With minimal variegation, they look really bad. With some decent variegation, they look passable. Ooh, this one is such a beauty. Allocation Ninja, variegated. Oh, isn't this mint? <laughs> no, uh, so someone commented wow with a bunch of emojis that indicate happiness. Uh, no. What is this? Like, if you give me this plant, I would throw this away. And then we have this... Uh I just read the description, um, no comment, actually. This is Alocasia Loco or Alocasia Venom, I don't know. Basically, Loco has texture of peeling paint. Texture of peeling paint? Why is that a good thing? Ugh, the only interesting part of this plant is the spiraled tails. Moving on, another Alocasia that I just need to add is the variegated Tigrina Superba. The variegated one, ugly. The normal one is cool. That's the problem. You have a cool leaf and then you add variegation. You just make it weird. Don't do that. When you have variegated plants or plants with cool colors on it, don't variegate it. It's ugly. It's ugly. This is one tomato film that I have here. So this is a uh, Bipenifolium mint variegated. The potential is there, but the color is so off. Maybe it's just me. This yellow is ugly. You can't change my mind. No. Let's talk about some Monstera, shall we? The first one being Monstera Deliciosa Starlight. By the way, I'm planning on making a video uh, on doing like new variegated Monsteras. Uh, Kaylee, I'm going to get this video out before you. No, I'm not. <laughs> Who am I lying to? I know that Kaylee Allen does that, but I'm not gonna go like in so much detail. I'm just gonna give you like a little list. I'm sure she will do a different spin on it. But by the time I get to it, she will probably do it first. So this one, I don't care. It could look okay. It looks like someone just sprayed bird particles on it is not not something you would want to see when you walk into a room rare super variegated sold fast monstera mint mutation <gasps> it looks sunburned deformed viral whatever this variegation is probably some paths got to it what is this what is this why are you so ugly bro another monstera that i want to add here is the monstera frozen freckles You see what I mean? The leaves look deformed because you can get the Monstera Adansonia Albo, which is very beautiful. This one is just not doing it and the leaves also bend in different weird ways because, you know, that's just... It's weird. It's very weird. Variegated Epipremnum Pinatum Species Phuket. The color itself is not that bad, but why is the leaf like, like this? Don't, like, why is it like this? 
sick okay a few anthuriums not very many anthurium crystallinum red dot it's not ugly it's not ugly don't get me wrong but this dot bothers me just the wrong way i see why you would want it obviously you want the dot okay you want to press on it why it's just it's just not no no then we have anthurium forgetty eye sunlight same thing as before i see why you would want that it looks like a star or sun whatever it's probably just the photo right but the color of this leaf is so ugly this is the ugliest possible shade of green you can get probably just the photo right but i would fix that when uploading the photo because i don't think this looks in real life like this right i don't like this weird sinus part just ugh. on theorems that do this with the leaves when they just do like weird different like no stay like this like a leaf don't like why why do you have to like bend in different directions you're just a leaf chill out anthurium red spider with its like leaves are like like this right you can like you have you see like they just like like do this and it's ugly um i don't like the, the color in this one is a little weird that's not the, the worst part because we have some worse anthurium believe it or not we have variegated midnight velvet starry midnight how many words are we adding? Because I'm pretty sure by now you can get a Philadelphia chocolate dessert, variegated sunlight, school book, and chocolate wrapped in turkey, three times super rare extra variegated with mint variegation. Pretty sure you can get that because just add anything really. Like this, this plant is a disgrace to plant Instagram because it doesn't deserve a spot on here. I'm very sorry. This one, um, ooh, as I talked about the weird deformities of the leaves, Anthuriums, Anthurium silver mutation. This leaf looks like you haven't watered the plant for five years. This leaf came out under dirt and you didn't water it, so it had to like climb up a round of applause for anterior mutations what is this so ugly nothing to add here just let's not do mutated anteriors i think i have a few photos i'm just gonna put here Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Brother, ugh. this one is so ugly it deserves an honorable mention because anterior silver variegated and it's yellow we have ugly green silvery green and ugly yellow how do you think these go together especially this leaf is really ugly i am concerned that we are not all agreeing on this being ugly and this is another mint anterium silver blush mint i only saw plants.com selling these and they are absolutely ugly these are 125 euros uh, on plants.com and they are just not what you would expect for that money. They just kind of, you see what I mean. It's the same with other uh, mint stuff that I'm talking about. It looks like it hasn't been fed. And now it's ugly like this. Marble variegated Raphidophora megasperma. Let's not do marble variegation ever period let's not do that because it's so ugly you can get so beautiful raffidophoras and this this is what you come up with just don't don't say no to it okay uh this one i wanted to show you it apparently it's the monster devil monster uh it's sold out i don't understand how because i can tell you this was sold for over a thousand minimum this was definitely more than a thousand my album on Sarah is more beautiful than whatever this is. Besides the basically non-existing leaves with deformation, we also have the ugly variegation of the devil monster. Tell me why this is so ugly and how do you get from this to fully mature leaves? Because apparently these leaves don't even grow. Like what's going on with these? Let's not do that. People need to stop commenting the heart eyes emojis because that's not okay. And the last one... Raphidophora lobii scott variegated. I have seen an epipremnum with same kind of variegation. When there's just a little green in the middle, here we have a section of plants with ugly like green in the middle and then the white just kind of dispersed around the edges and it's not even white so it makes it even more ugly. It's some kind of cream. They say, what do you think? Where can I get a piece of this? I need one. I love it. No. No, you don't. Please do not take any of the jokes seriously. I'm trying to make some fun content here. That's it. Ah! And the name! Okay, this will be my last one for today. 
because I just can't anymore. Philodendron Biliatier Mint Blue Gray Hybrid. No, just no. How do you manage to get purpley dark edges on a yellow leaf that essentially turns into a devil monster or a white monster after some time? Or is it two plants or what is this? The hues are ugly. The colors don't go together. There is a few cool things about this one though. It's Biliatier, so this grows absolutely huge. And I can see like the dark petals, the dark stems. That's interesting. I want to see more of that, but with a nice color. This was it for today. I hope you had at least a little laugh. Again, any of these jokes were not meant seriously, but I do not like the plants. <laughs> so sorry. I currently have a bunch of schoolwork, but I will see you in the next one as soon as I can put it out. Stay tuned for a huge surprise next month, I think. Um, goodbye.